Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and one of my all-time favourite childhood TV shows has got to be the Tracy Beaker franchise. Who didn't love these TV shows? And the character of Tracy Beaker, just honestly, Jacqueline Wilson created one of the best characters of all time. She will go down in history. Danny Harmer playing Tracy Beaker was a perfect choice, and to be honest, everyone just loved this character. And I think one of the best things about this character was her strange past and fantasies that she had about her past that we never really found out about. And the most notable being throughout all of the original series, she would always be waiting for her mum to come. She would always make up lies about whether her mum was in Hollywood and that her mum is going to come back to her. And then of course, we actually got to see her mum and meet her mum called Carly Beaker in the movie and we got to find out a bit more about why on earth Tracy loves her mum so much. But there was always one kind of big gap in this whole character. And that was, of course, she loved her mum and she'd always go on about her mum was going to come back for her. But where on earth was her dad? And I've been thinking about this for ages now and I thought today we'd try and finally find out who on earth Tracy Beaker's father is. So, for this video, I have literally went back through and watched the story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns. Last night, I was watching the entire Tracy Beaker movie, because as you do, even though you haven't watched these shows for years, you're of course going to go back and watch them, because they are amazing. And let me tell you something, there is absolutely nothing on Tracy Beaker's dad. Literally, it's like he doesn't exist. But we're going to get through the few little pieces that we have here today and finally see whether we can work out something. But, you know, don't get your hopes up because there is literally nothing for this. But let's see what we do anyway. But before we go any further, please make sure you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified whenever we make any more Tracy Beaker videos. <laughs> So firstly, let's discuss what do we actually know really about Tracy's relationship with her father and her mother. So we know what she's like with her mum. She would literally wait by the window for hours for her mum to arrive and she'd make up loads of stories about her mum being this famous Hollywood actor because she absolutely adored her mum and clearly can remember lots of memories about her mum throughout her lifetime. In the final episode of the story of Tracy Beaker we find out that Tracy has been going to the dumping ground for six whole years now and in the first season she was ten. That means around the time when she was around nine, she ended up being put in care for the first time and was separated from her mum. So that's nine years with her mum without any connection to her dad. So no wonder she loves her mum a lot. And later on, we find out that she literally had no contact with her dad whatsoever. But we'll check in more on that later. So firstly, what do we know about Tracy's past? Well, according to the Tracy Beaker movie, we do get an insight into what on earth Tracy Beaker's past is and how basically she was put into care in the first place. And it does give some key information about what it might be. So on her wiki page, which is basically which basically quotes what is going on during the movie, it says about Carly Beaker that in her teenage years, 16-year-old Carly Beaker, in other words, Tracy's mother, was pregnant with Tracy Beaker. Once Tracy was born, her mum left her at home unattended so she could go to the pub and stay out late with her friends. As she was jealous that they could all go out whenever they wanted, then her mother got a boyfriend named Dave, who Tracy called Monster Gorilla Boyfriend, who was possibly her father, who used to hit and abuse her a lot. She was sent to a care home by social services. Since she couldn't stay with her mother, she often cried and caused tantrums, so she was often sent to the quiet room. Now, there was a lot of information there, so let's basically break it up. So, in the first line, it basically tells us, which is mentioned a lot in the movie, that Carly, her mother, had Tracy at a very, very young age. She was only 16 years old when she had her, and clearly it was a relationship that wasn't going to last long. But we do get an insight into who might be Tracy's father. That is this character called Dave, who we have never met. All we know is that Tracy called him Monster Gorilla Boyfriend. And it is the reason why she is in care. Simply because when her mum's boyfriend came, Tracy and her boyfriend did not get along. And then basically Tracy ended up being put in care simply because of that. So we don't know whether this character Dave is her father, but it's a very good possibility that he is. And it even says in the paragraph I just read before, 
who was possibly her father and that is literally the only bit of information we actually have confirming a slight bit of who Tracy's father might be and it doesn't say for sure whether it is her father but it does say possibly and the reason why Tracy wouldn't know that is because her mum would have wanted to keep it secret because maybe when Tracy was first born and her and Dave had the baby then her and Dave split up and then later when Tracy was a bit older they got back together so Tracy just knew him as her mum's boyfriend. So that's one example of who Tracy's father could be and it's probably the most likely. But let's move on, what else do we really know about this father? Well, we do know that Tracy seems to take a big dislike into fathers and we know from what we just read earlier that she didn't like this Dave guy either, so if he is her father then this would explain why. And we don't really know why Tracy doesn't like fathers, but there is some little bits of evidence for her not liking many fathers. And that is at the end of the story of Tracy Beaker on the wedding episode between Cam and Gary. And Tracy is instantly worried by Cam, who she looks up to as a mother figure. She becomes really worried simply because Cam is going to get married and then Tracy is going to basically have a new father called Gary. And her excuse basically is that she's worried that Cam and Gary might have babies, but there may be some other lingering things around there, for example, maybe from the few memories that she has of her father, they're not very nice, so adding a new father into the mix might not be very good for her. And like I said, I went through literally all of it, and there is absolutely nothing. I have a feeling we're going to find out a bit more about Tracy's parents in the new TV show My Mum Tracy Beaker because that's basically focusing on Tracy Beaker being a mum. But like I said, she doesn't really care that she doesn't have a father. In all of her dreams and her fantasies, it's always about her and her mum simply because she really only remembers her mum as from what we've just found out. If it wasn't Dave, she literally has had no idea what her father is like. For example, in Tracy Beaker Returns in the final episode episode of series 2 called Chained Reaction, Tracy keeps on having all of these dreams and they always involve Cam, her adopted mother and her normal mum Carly and never even a dad, there's like no mention of it whatsoever. And not to mention this literally is an episode all about how Tracy struggles sometimes without having that parent figure near her and she's not worried about not having a dad near her, she's only ever worried about not having her mum. In this case Cam is away in New York and then it ends up ha letting her have a panic attack because she's worried that she doesn't have a mum near her. Nothing to do with the dad though, she really does not care whatsoever about her dad. And then in the final episode of Tracy Beaker Returns, Series 3, Episode 13, where we didn't really know whether Tracy Beaker was ever going to return in the future, she says this to Mike when she's staring out at the window in the final scene, one of my favourite personal scenes, and she says this, You know, I never miss my dad, not like I miss my mum, maybe because I never knew him, but I think it's because... I think it's cuz, cuz you've been like a father to me. So in other words, she realised that she actually doesn't really need her dad simply because she could never remember him in the first place and what Tracy does instead is create father figures for herself and the most notably would be Mike of course and of course we all love Mike. So unfortunately there isn't really much to go on with this, I've literally searched and searched and searched but there's like nothing about her dad anywhere. So most likely it's this character called Dave who her mum used to date. You could say it's one of her mum's acting friends uh, because we know she is a stunt woman. It could be one of the characters from the movie for all we know, but it has never been confirmed by Jacqueline Wilson or the rest of the writers or even Danny Harmer herself. So instead, we're just going to have to go on that Tracy Beaker doesn't actually need a father because she makes father figures herself like Mike for example. But anyway guys that is the end of the video I hope you have enjoyed it if you have make sure that you smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already tell us in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on Tracy's father whether you think it is this Dave guy whether you think it's someone else let me know who you think it is or whether you think Tracy Beaker is just too good that she doesn't need a father whatsoever and you just think she just needs a person to act like a father kind of like how Mike does to her personally that's what what I really like about Tracy Beaker. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.